up, gang? Long time no see. So, everybody who got to finish, all six finishes got 50 grand tonight. Um, go ahead, John Morgan. Yeah. Well, I guess uh, main event fallout, obviously, unfortunate. Um, I guess we know it's illness. What can you tell us about what happened and just how everything unfolded? Yeah, um, you know, halfway through the show, we found out that his stomach, he was having stomach problems. He wanted to fight really bad, so um, Doc worked with him, tried to get some things uh, taken care of before the fight. Didn't work out and just had to pull him. You know, these things happen. They don't know what was wrong with him. It was some kind of a stomach virus that hit him. Could have been from cutting weight. Who, who knows what it was, but it happened. And, uh, you know, we're talking to these guys now about do we do it in two weeks? You know, you, what you don't want to do is have them cut weight again next week. So you give them a couple weeks. Um, and God knows what's wrong with him. So let him heal up and go from there. If not, do you have a backup plan for Ryan? Obviously, he was incredibly disappointed tonight. You know, we talked to him briefly. Um, if It would be nice if you could rebook that fight, like you said, in two weeks. If not, would you try to find him something else fast? Or do you want to put him back in the rotation? Yeah, 100%. We'll, 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 get, him, we'll get him taken care of and get it figured out. It's what we do. We got a pretty impressive main event anyway. Brendan Allen came in and made an absolute statement. I guess, uh, what can you say about his performance, especially with the, what he did against the guy he did it against? Two to one underdog, um, you know, took out a ranked guy and made 50 grand tonight, you know? So, um, yeah, he, he had a really good night. That, that guy's got nothing to be bummed out about. Good night for him. No question. Uh, another one that was impressed with Tatiana Suarez. I'm just curious what you think about seeing her back um, and first of all, I just guess her, her performance tonight, after that long away, how she looked tonight. She looked incredible, especially with the time off. Everybody knows how I feel about that much time off, plus the things that she battled uh, personally, physically, um, and, and then to come back. And, and, and not just, you know, De La Rosa is badass. That's, that's a legit comeback fight. Um, she's big, she's strong, she's a good wrestler. Um, her ground game is awesome, you know. Um, and, uh, you know, she's a, she's a true fighter. She came in to beat Tatiana tonight. And, and, you know, once she got that choke on, too, look how long she fought that choke. Impressive, too. So um, this, was a, this was a real fight for Tatiana coming back. So it just shows, you know, uh, where she really is. Plus, she's shooting a HBO documentary right now. So, I mean, you just couldn't have a better story than that. And the fact that she came in and fought somebody real, like a legit, really badass woman tonight. So, big deal for her. How, here's the interesting part. How, how do you look and at And she it? won 50 grand. And she won 50 grand. Yeah. That'll help. Uh, so, what do you, where do you kind of consider the position, right? Because, I mean, she looked amazing before she had the time off, but that was at 115. She said she, she wins tonight at 125. So, I mean, do you see that as like, hey, we see her as a top contender? Do you feel like she's got to work her way up from 15 again? Like, how do you see her path? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, th that's up to the media. We'll see where she ends up in the rankings. And, um, you know, get a couple more fights under her belt, and we'll see what happens. There's no doubt. I mean, she's, she's one of the best in the world. There, there was a lot of talk on the Internet and a lot of hype about her coming back tonight. A lot of people were excited to see her, um, you know, see how she was going to handle, uh, you know, adversity again, and, and, and she came out looking awesome. I mean, I, I pulled her back into my room after the fight, and do you guys remember when she was on her back? She was on De La Rosa's back and literally didn't even put her hooks in, and De La Rosa was bent over, and it was almost like she was staying in the same position like her hooks were in. I was like, what the fuck was that? I, what, what were you doing? And she broke it down telling me what she's doing. She's just incredibly talented. That's awesome. A couple outside tonight I want to ask you, what can you tell us about the ultimate fighter, Conor McGregor, uh, you know, big excitement. Are you, what, what can you tell us about what's happening so far? Yeah, it's been good. Um, we, uh, we had our first three fights, um, I think on Friday. And uh, I was just actually just upstairs with Chandler, and he's telling me how much he loves this show and how into helping his guys he is. He's like, I, you know, I figured I was going to come out here and, you know, you know, we'd go through the motions and whatever. He says, I'm blown away by how into this I am and how much I, I really care about these guys. And I said, this is what happens every season, man. It's, it's fascinating, you know, every year that we do this. First of all, different things happen every season. And the fact that, that these coaches become so invested in their guys. It's fun, man. It's, 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 good, it's good to be back. I, I love it. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to Boston 
uh, the week of St. Patty's Day and doing looking for a fight. It'd be the first time I've done that in a while. And then obviously I'm excited for the Contender Series to come back too. All these, all these things that we do to find and build talent are a lot of fun. Last thing for me, i got to ask you about the big uh, title fight. Kind of John Jones is back. I just kind of what your early thoughts are and maybe what the early trends are for how successful this fight's going to be. Yeah, um, it's big. I mean, again, just like I told you in, uh, in Perth, you know, we're looking at, we had Perth. You know, last year we had a sellout every single event, right? Now, Perth, the John Jones fight, and Miami are all trending to be MSG type gates. So it's a really good start to the beginning of the year. And, uh, I, I'm not sure if it was BS or not. I think I saw a report that John Jones was like 250 pounds. How big are you expecting him to kind of weigh in? I don't know. You know, he and I have, have, have talked and text, but uh, I haven't asked him any of that. Listen, John, John Jones is a guy that's been in the sport forever. Look at, he's the greatest of all time. Uh, you know, he's, done the move up the heavyweight the right way. He's taking his time and, uh, you know, just didn't pack on a bunch of weight, you know, in a short amount of time. He's, he's, this has been years in the making. So he knows what he's doing. For sure. Thanks, Dana. Thank you. Dana, I can't remember if we've heard from you after the makachev volkanovsky fight, um, what your thoughts on that were. And is a rematch possibly in the works on that one? You know what my thoughts are on that? When you make a super fight, could you possibly have a better fucking result than we did on that fight, right? When the entire world is arguing over who won, that's a super fight, and it delivers, right? The only thing that could possibly be better than that is the guy who's fighting for the interim title comes out looking incredible too. So now you got Yair versus Volkanovski, right? Um, we'll see what happens with Islam and where he ends up fighting next. Y you have to do Yair. You have to do that fight. I mean, the guy came out and absolutely dominated a stud that night. And, uh, and then you have the rematch after they both fight again. Makes sense. You could not have a better result. Makes sense. So definitely Yair first, not before giving ball. I, I mean, listen, I, I don't know. We didn't, we didn't make any fights yet. Yeah. There are a lot of different things um, that play out in, in making these fights. You know, timing, injuries, personal stuff, whatever it might be. But yeah, to me... The fight that makes sense is you make Yair versus Volkanovski, Islam versus somebody when it, whenever that happens, and, um, and then you do the rematch. So much talk is about next week is just Jones and Gans, Jones and Gans. I feel like a lot of people are, uh, are overlooking Shevchenko fighting Grasso. Right. What are your thoughts on that fight, and what do you expect out of that one? I agree. These things happen sometimes. But what also makes the, 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 the fight so exciting and, and so big is the actual card. The card is stacked with great fights. This isn't just... Jones and Cyril, um, people are just excited because Jones is coming back. Um, but yeah, the whole card is, is badass. And obviously, Valentina versus Grazo is, is an incredible card. And, and, and if Valentina beats her, I mean, it's just like, this woman is absolutely amazing. And, and um, she's so sweet, talented, and so low key, she doesn't get the attention she deserves all the time. But this time, we actually we actually made two posters. There's the John Jones poster, and then there's the Valentina poster. So um, she deserves her own poster. Yeah. Going back to tough, there was a, a lot of talk going into before this started. People were saying that Connor made, when he made the jump, he brought three guys with him, and he replaced three guys that were on the card or already decided. Can right. you clear up what that story is all about? I have no idea. Who gives a shit? Just glad <laughs> he's back, right? Huh? Just glad no, it's back. not even that. It's like... Th these stories that come out of these things, uh, fuck, what did I hear? I heard something earlier tonight, too. It's like, this stuff is, when we're working on all this stuff, you know what I mean? And you're trying to get guys to commit, to coach, and, you know, to, take, to, to do the coaching commitment, especially when you live in Ireland, right. you know what I mean? Yeah, Connor's going to get some things that he wants. Uh, nobody lost an opportunity here. If, if there were guys that were booked to do that, We'll do something with them, we'll, you know, it's not just like, hey, see you later, pal, good luck to you, uh, you know, have a good life, we'll figure it out, we'll take care of these guys. <clears throat>
And last one on tough. I know you're always, this has been your, your baby until the Contender Series came around. Are you the kind, do you watch the show as it's going so you can kind of feel as it's going? Or do you like to wait until it's sort of already in post-production so you can discover it like the rest of us? You're talking about the Ultimate Fighter? The Ultimate Fighter. Yeah. So what happens with the Ultimate Fighter is as it's being edited, um, they shoot the episodes over to me and I watch the episodes when, when they're done to see if I have any edits to make on it or changes that I want. And uh, I mean, that's, that's what we do with basically everything that goes out of this building or the building next door. Um, I, I approve before it goes out. I literally watch everything from promos to, you know, you know the 30th anniversary stuff, fight lore, stuff that goes on Fight Pass, everything that, that, that goes on here, I watch before it goes out. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.